Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of My Summer Car. Uh, in this episode I'm going to, well, I'm basically going to put this thing back together. Uh, parts that I took apart last time trying to install the half shafts. Luckily I've got my ratchet set so hopefully this won't take a whole lot of time. And I should, I think I remember how this goes together more or less. So let's get started. Let me grab my ratchet. Come on. Oh, I guess I just grabbed, okay, by the socket. All right, so I've got that on. I know there's things on the inside I need to do. Okay, they're gonna make me do those the ones on the inside before I do that. Makes sense, that makes sense. Okay, let's get that on and just figure out which one of these is gonna be the right size. That's the only thing that's gonna slow me down is that I do not remember what, um, what size the bolts are and they're a little bit there I see it right there uh, and so it's set a little bit off from where I really need it to get under it so that's gonna make this more difficult as well but it shouldn't be too bad I should be able to find this and uh, once I do it'll get in real quick because of these great ratchets all right it's not that so we're gonna go up size a little bit. Nope, still no. So, uh, if, if you haven't seen the, the previous episode, I, I took these off because I was trying to get the half shaft on. I got a tip from um, from a friend of mine, Corey, who said that you know, the half shaft should attach to the front with a single large bolt and uh, reference some you know, real life experience working with it. So I decided to try it and I took apart a lot of this stuff. Uh, unfortunately, that is not how it worked here. So I'm just gonna get this back together and continue on uh, in a different in a different route. All right, let's find that. That's a very large one right there. So let's find what goes there. Got it. And that's just, I'm so pleased with the ratchets. Really can't stress that enough. I just love how easy it makes it to put this stuff on. It's just so much quicker than the wrenches. So if you're, if you're playing this and you don't have the ratchet set, get the ratchet set. So good. All right, let's stand up. I always like to move this to wherever I'm working so I can switch things out more easily. It just speeds things up a little bit when I don't have to uh, when I don't have to get down on the floor and pick up my ratchet set because it fell for no reason. Let's try this again, huh? Just very, very carefully. There we go. Okay. And this is another where I have no clue. I have no memory at all of what size these are. So I'm just going to have to tinker a little bit. Apparently they're larger than they look. Here we go. All right, so ratchet these down. I'm almost, I'm actually almost to where I was, uh, which is great. So then I can start, I really need to get the engine in. Wait a second, what is, what's that piece? And I get back to where I can look at it. Oh, right, the steering rod. Ah, crap. Forgot I, I forgot I had taken that out, actually. So that's got to attach. Yeah, I can see it from there. There, there it was. Come on, give that checkbox to me again. There we go. Attach right there. I'm going to grab my ratchet set and bring it down here. This is going this is going pretty fast so far, so I think I will have plenty of time uh, later in the episode to work on some other things, you know, tinker around with the engine, see what it takes to get that to sit in there, and uh, also double. Oh, there's those two bolts. I knew there were two bolts that I was missing. There they are. Let me f figure out what those are. Now that this is standing up a little better, I can see those. This episode's going to get on YouTube a little bit late. I'm actually recording this um, on Thursday, which is 
ideally when I would like it to be out. Uh, so it will be out on Thursday, just very late Thursday. All right, let's get the wheel back on and we'll more or less be uh, where we were before before I was tinkering with it in the previous episode. I seem to remember those being pretty large bolts here, so I'm actually gonna go higher and see what I can do with this. And after this, I'm I'm definitely thinking I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for the engine. I'm gonna try to get that engine in. I think I've got more or less everything that I can get into the car that doesn't connect directly to the engine. I think I've got those in. So I I believe that the engine is gonna be my next step. So we're gonna tinker around a little bit today and see what we can do. I can hear I don't know if it's a fly or a mosquito buzzing around me, but We'll, we'll try the mosquito spray and see if it helps. That's got to be annoying for you guys to hear, too. Okay. Let me just take a quick look of what I have left. A lot of this wiring mess, Christmas lights, um, battery, radiator hoses. Yeah, this is. I feel like this is all things. Well, the handbrake. Why can't I put that in yet? I have the brake assembly. Let me look in here. Actually, let me look under there. Let me grab this and see if I can figure it out. Because I do feel like I should be able to put the handbrake in. Though, if not, that's not a big deal and we'll move on and go right for the engine. So I'm going to drop this so I can just take a look at what I do have. Um, there's the gear linkage. I know I had... I feel like I had something that connected the brakes. Oh, wait. Get it back up. I see more bolts that I missed. Right there. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me grab my ratchet set, bring it down here, and we can get on those. And uh, maybe I'll give the brake situation a look from the top, since I couldn't really see it that well from down there. I don't know why I came around this side. Oh, I probably could have grabbed that from down there if I'd looked for it. Okay, let's get down. And unfortunately, this is going to be one where I'm going to have to uh, stoop a lot to get to that. But that's okay. Really wish I could remember which one it was. I just did this. There we go. Yeah, get those tightened in so my wheels aren't flying off once I finally get this thing started. I would prefer, you know, for my wheels to stay on. Alright, I'm going to go back up top. I'm going to bring... So I'm just gonna bring the hand this part with me unless you know I haven't tried to just put it in from down here so let's just kind of I feel like that's where it should go okay great handbrake is in let's see if there's anything back here I need to tighten looks like there is it looks pretty small so I'm gonna go with like uh, the second one here and then go up from there All right, it's not the second one, but perhaps the third. All right, I'm glad that putting things together, back together, went so smoothly. That's something I was really worried about, was um, taking a long time just to redo what I'd already done. Get up. And I, I really didn't want to waste a bunch of time with that. I feel like I've gotten larger than that bolt already, so I'm a little worried. I don't know. Maybe I'll try like the the smallest one and see. That's what I'll do. Grab this tiny one. Maybe it's that. It'll be that first time. First time I've ever used that size. Pretty sure. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely something wrong here where these lines are going right between it but I don't even know like it doesn't even tell me what that actually is when I look at it so I don't know maybe not maybe that's just how it looks in the game but uh, let me grab these and I, I want to look inside the car and see if there's anything I need to tighten down for the handbrake in there and uh, then I'm going straight for that engine Okay. 
Yeah, there are some bolts in here. So let me get in, into the car. And I'm just going to set this down over here. And I wonder if it's the same size. No, that'd be too convenient. It's something larger. All right, we'll just work our ways up like we do till, till one of these things turns green. No. Oh, that's not a good sound when I'm in the car and over the thing. We got the bay, is that what it's called? The little the hole in the ground? No, oh, if you know what like the actual word for that is, um, please let me know because I definitely don't. I just know when I go to get my oil changed, they tell me to pull into bay one or bay two or whatever. So I assume that's a bay. Alright, let's get this down. And I'm just I don't even really know grab it by the block here. I don't even really know which way the engine is supposed to face in here. So I'm really just kind of experimenting with this. Um, maybe if I turn over this way. Uh, no. 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 Nope. 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 All right, I feel like my fears have come true and I have to use the engine hoist to make this work. So I'm just, I don't know how to use it, so we're going to experiment and see if I can figure it out. Uh, first off, I'm going to push this car back a little bit because it's kind of resting on it right now. When you're pushing it, you got to be really careful because it, it kind of goes, it goes quick. That's good. All right, undo that. So let's let's have a look at this thing. If I grab this and hold it kind of I, I know it, it clamps onto that somehow. Uh, but I don't see it giving me any options like any checkbox or anything. Okay, let's let's put this down. I maybe I have to lower it. Cause I see the No, don't fall over. Come on, grab it. No, oh, not the electronics. There. Is that good? Okay. So what I was saying is I see that this has this has these two bolts in it. Uh, and I'm assuming that that's something that I use to connect it to that, though I don't necessarily see where I would connect it. But that's uh, something we'll have to figure out. First, let me just see if I can... How does this lower? No? Okay. Oh, that's just... That is so painfully slow. Alright, well, we'll be here for a while. Uh, just lowering the, the engine hoist. Or, yeah, engine hoist, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, this is this will only take forever. So I hope you guys are uh, you know enjoying watching me slowly lower this uh, engine hoist. I really feel like I should be able to hold it down. Wouldn't that be nice if I could hold this button down and it would just lower it constantly? But I guess that was not realistic enough for the game makers. They said no, you're gonna have to click it every single time until it gets down there. Uh, is it even going to reach that low? Do I have to push this over to the table and hook it up there? I don't want to do that. I th maybe it will. Maybe it will get low enough. We'll, we'll see. We'll see in a second. Because you can see a little hydraulic thing or whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it's hydraulic or pneumatic. But it's it's not anywhere really close to being all the way down, so we'll just keep on. I'm kind of having a hard time with the perspective there. Okay, so I can kind of see it's not as low as it needs to be. I probably do have to get it all the way down, which is terrible, and then hopefully I don't have to pull it all the way back up to get it high enough. Though, with the way this game's going, might have to. Might really have to. All right. This is getting pretty good here, I think. Just a little bit more. Let me get a look at this. Where are we? 
still kind of over it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way to the all the way till this bottoms out, I think. Okay, you can see where it's it's intersecting the engine now. Can I back this up? Yes, I can. Okay. Let me back this thing up a little bit. There. And uh, get down where I can see this better. No, I still don't think that's low enough. Those, those bolts aren't really very near it. So we'll continue on just edging that down and down and down. All right, get, an, get another look at this. Okay, there, so now they're definitely low enough that they're gonna intersect this. I'm just gonna back, like, is it, you know? No, it still doesn't want to, it's not snapping into place or anything. Maybe I just tighten them? Maybe if I just tighten them, it'll do it? I don't know what size these are. Let me get my, get my thing, my ratchets. Okay. Um, I'm I'm guessing larger rather than smaller. Uh, my hunger meter is getting pretty high, but I don't want to I don't want to stop this. All right, got that tightened in. I don't know. If, I I really I don't know if this is even going to do anything. Oh look! Oh my God! Look, it did it! Oh, ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I apparently didn't lower it down as much as I was supposed to, but you can see how it jumped up. So it is actually hanging now. It went into, I guess, that right there, yeah? And then on this side, it's connected right there. Okay, alright. Well, that's exciting. That's very exciting, actually. I'm going to go and uh, eat something so that I don't die of hunger. And uh, then I'm coming right back out here and we're going to hoist this thing and hopefully actually get it into the car oh that'd be well that'd be awesome to get that uh, to really get that in the car all right uh find something i can eat here i'm not running out of food am i those are cigarettes um oh well that could be a problem is the food down at the boat i bet i bet i left it all at the boat I'm pretty sure I have more food. God, I hope I have more food. Ooh, that fly is bad. Come on now. Drink faster. Chug, chug, chug. Alright. Oh no! What is, what's happening? Is there a fire? Um, shit, shit, shit. Oh god, did I have, did I leave the thing on? The, uh, wrong part. Did I leave the, the, for, um, uh, sauna. Did I leave the sauna on? I don't see any fire anywhere. Okay, but it did set off the smoke detector and that is what's happening. Okay, I did leave this on. Let's turn this off real quick. Okay, but there's no, there is no fire. Where, I gotta find the smoke detector. Oh, this is exciting. It's kind of hard to pin, oh, okay, good, it turns itself off. Whew, wow. Okay, well, you know what, I know this is heated now, so let's go ahead and take a sauna, I guess. Oh, wow, that, I did not... I didn't even- I forgot I had it on! Oh, come on. This stupid thing. Oh. I'm so glad that that- that the- the thing, the- uh, the fire detector. Can't even think of the word, I'm so frazzled now. Really glad that the fire detector goes off before there's an actual fire. Alright. Um, I still need to find food. Let's get back, get back to what I was doing, or maybe the stress thing first. I don't even know. Oh, 
All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We'll do this first. I should have left this door open. All right, at least we found that before an actual fire started. I don't even know how I would put out a fire. Is there a fire extinguisher somewhere? Did I, were there fire extinguishers in the store? I can't remember. I can't remember if I saw them there or not. I don't have a huge amount of stress, so this shouldn't take very long doing this, so I'm actually just going to keep going here. I'm not going to have any cuts. This should take care of one of the flies, too. Uh, that's, that's something I read. That the sauna takes care of the fly and the bug, bug spray takes care of the mosquito. So I still hear one of them for sure. Oh, I'm going to show you guys something funny and gross in a second. There's an achievement in this game called Yellow Steam. And as soon as I saw that there was something called Yellow Steam, I knew exactly what that was. And I tested this out on another thing, but when I but it, I wasn't recording. But you are fully able to pee into the sauna and create steam. So that's a that's a thing that's happening. So that's your your lives are enhanced now. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pee everywhere. Um, put this thing down. So gross. <laughs> put. Just walk through the house urinating. It's fine. Whatever. Mom and dad are going to get back and be like, why does every surface in the house smell like urine? Oh, I don't know. No reason. No reason at all. I do think it's really funny. I might have talked about this before, but the fact that as your urine meter goes down when you're peeing, you get to a certain point where it stops going down as fast and you can actually see the stream of pee going slower and you have to press the pee button again to kind of squeeze those last drops out and I think it's so funny because that really is kind of uh, true to life in a weird way so I'm pretty sure I have some food down here at the boat if not we're taking a boat ride to get some food because I wasn't paying attention to how much I had uh, and then we'll get back to that engine and the engine hoist and all of that. I'm pretty sure, now that I see how it kind of clicked into place with the when I screwed in the hoist, I'm pretty sure what'll happen is it'll do something very similar. Yeah, I do. Well, at least I have this one, this one pizza that I can eat. I'll take care of... Well, actually, it didn't even bring my hunger all the way down. There's, oh, there's some sausages there, but that does bring my hunger all the way down, so those are just going to stay in the lake. I'm sure that that's fine. Those won't go bad. Anyway, what I was saying, I'm pretty sure now, when I start lowering that into the car body, there will probably be a point where it kind of snaps into place, and I don't, I'm guessing give me some bolts that I can tighten, and then I'll be able to unscrew it from the hoist, and it'll be settled into the car. Oh, that'll be just, that will make my day if I get that engine in there. You have no idea how excited right now. I'm, I'm trying not to curse, because when I get excited, uh, I get some foul language going. I'm trying to keep this as clean as I can. But I am just, I am beside myself with excitement that that actually worked, just kind of screwing those in when it was near enough to the engine. Oh... There's the house, not not burned down still, so that's right on target. That's where we want to be with that, have a house that isn't burning down. The sauna, I did turn that off. I'm kind of remembering, yes, I did indeed turn that off, so that's good. All right, let's get over here. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to uh, position this thing once I get it raised up. But like we saw with lowering it, it's probably going to take forever just to get it raised up. We'll find out here in a second. All right, get this hoist handle. Oh, that's just, that's so cool. That fly did not go away. I can still hear that. I'm sure you can too. So, I, I don't know, I did the bug spray, I did the sauna, and it's still a problem, apparently. 
So that's, uh, that's annoying. That's unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate's a better word for that. For what that is. Alright, so I'm gonna assume and sincerely hope that this is oriented correct. That, you know, once I move this hoist, that I move it directly in front of the car and that that is how the engine actually sits in the car with this side that's facing me now facing forward because otherwise this is going to take a little more experimentation i guess otherwise i'm not really sure what to do all right how high do i need to get this it's oh it's nowhere near as high as i need it yeah i'm pretty much going to have to take this all the way up i think because right now i'm just going to knock that thing into the car if i try to move it probably knock the car around so we've got to get this high enough that I can clear it, which is going to take a bit of work. This is another thing where this is uh, this is another inconsistency in this game, uh, because there's not really a, a reason that I can think of that the engine wouldn't snap into place like every other thing. I understand they want you to use the hoist because that's you would have to use the hoist in real life and they're going for realism and a lot of things in this game but every other thing just snaps in i feel like at the very least the engine should have snapped in to the hoist with a checkbox and not just had me having to guess that yes let's tighten these screws that looks like it might be high enough let me get a better look around this angle I think so. We're gonna we're gonna try it like that. Let me get a hold of this thing, and oh, let me get. There's a few things I need to move out of the way first. I don't want these to go flying all over the place. So this headlight can go sit over here on the bench next to the other headlight, and I'll get my ratchets over there too. And then we'll get this thing positioned. Hopefully, I think that's high enough. All right, grab it there. Go over. Right, get it lined up. I don't want this to go off balance and fall in or something weird. Is that good? Oh, oh no! I didn't mean to let it let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks about right. So we're going to start lowering that down and we're going to see if it pops into place. Grab the handle. There you go. I'm just, I'm so nervous and excited right now about this whole process. Like I'm actually, I've spent so long, like hours, so hours putting this thing together and now I'm finally actually lowering it into the car. Oh my god. This is a feeling of accomplishment that is honestly way more than anyone should ever feel from a video game. So kudos on that, game makers. You've, you've made me feel very accomplished by making this tedious and challenging. <laughs> I, I hope this works. Oh. Am I scraping against something now? I'm afraid to adjust it to like move the whole hoist when I'm at this spot, so I'm just gonna keep lowering it and hope for the best. I wonder how far down it needs to get before it does its thing. Hopefully it does do its thing. Hopefully I'm not just doing this entirely wrong and it's not gonna do anything and I'll forever be disappointed. Come on snap in a place or something okay so it's you can see it's putting the weight on the car now the car is moving that's probably not good no I, it's not it's not snapping into any spot so I don't know I could have oh oh okay that's probably a good thing it's free of whatever it was rubbing against now keep on lowering it nope nope we're hitting stuff again we're bottoming out maybe uh, still going I can't tell okay let's here let's let's get out of that and look 
Um, no, so that part right there, I'm assuming that that's got to screw into the side, and it doesn't seem to be really lined up with anything. Um, what else can I check? Is it just, is it resting on? I can't get low enough to see, can I? Okay, yeah, the engine is completely just resting on the frame now. So I might, I might have to raise it up again instead of just continuing to lower it. So, I mean, this thing is almost all the way down now. Okay, well, that's a little disappointing that it didn't snap into place the way I thought it would on lowering it down. Let's raise it up a little bit and maybe since the car moved it's in a slightly different position so maybe it'll snap into place now. It's wishful thinking, right? Come on. Find a spot, please. Swing and free there. Let me get a look at this. I mean, I feel like that's too high, right? I don't think that that part's gonna stick out past the hood like that. So maybe I should just keep, I'm gonna keep lowering it again. I'm gonna lower it back down. It's possible that nothing is gonna come of this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out one way or the other. We're just gonna keep on lowering this. I mean, the shocks have to support the engine anyway, eventually, right? So, it's not like it's hurting anything, I don't think. And maybe it will... Oh, what's it doing? This doesn't look good. I feel like I should maybe get out of the way. That's, that's definitely, that's definitely not what it should be doing. Um, dang, dang, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna very carefully jiggle this around inside the car, hope for the best. No, this all of a sudden feels very much like, um, that Surgeon game that was popular for a while, where the controls were super hard, Surgery Simulator. Let's raise this thing back up, I guess. Come on, grab it. Oh, no! Oh, son of a... Mm. Okay, so the engine, the engine came off... Oh, the damn engine came off the hoist. Oh, crap. And it's not letting me operate those screws. I thought I had the right size. I didn't change. I didn't change size after I put that on, did I? Maybe I did? I didn't think I did. Alright, okay. You know what? Let's just... We're going to grab this. Back this thing up entirely. Yeah, screw you, engine. Bounce around all you want. I don't give a crap. Maybe you'll bounce into your proper place. I guess I did? No. Okay. Yeah. I did not change that. I did not change wrenches. Or sockets, I guess. Come here, you piece of crap. So maybe it was... Maybe it's, like, maybe it's this way. Maybe that's why it never went in. Because I did have it backwards. Let's see if it connects, if I have it turned this way, if it connects like it did before. If so, that that will tell me that maybe I did just have it backwards. Get over here and lower this thing down. I'm just about at my target time for this episode, but I really want to at least try this and uh, try to get this to snap in there in some way. So I'll just go a little bit over the time I had planned. 
Let's see if I see if it'll snap up if I do this now. Uh, switch that to Titan. Yeah, great. Make sure that's really in there. Wait. Did it just turn itself around, or, or am I an idiot and had it turned the, the same way I had it before? Uh, and undo this. I gotta be sure. It's entirely possible that I'm just an idiot. But I gotta know. Slam. Alright, let's grab it. Turn it around. See if I can get it positioned. That looks pretty good. Looks about as good as it was, at least. Okay, so I'm looking at this thing and I'm seeing, right, that the um, that circular bit, the air intake, is towards the hoist. So let's see if I tighten this. Is it gonna? Yeah. Okay. So that has to be right because it keeps changing it to that position when I tighten it in. So that's got to be how it goes. Man, that just raises more questions now. All right, well, I guess let's just try this again. There's there's nothing else that I can put in the car for this to rest on, I don't think. Let's just have a quick look around. This is this is like for sub subwoofers. So that's not it. This is all exterior pieces. Um yeah, fenders and whatnot. I mean, there's the the grill, but that that doesn't support the engine. Okay, so yeah, anything that could support the engine is is already in there. So maybe I just didn't have it positioned as perfectly as I needed to have it positioned. We're gonna try this one more time. If this doesn't work, I'm just I'm gonna call it a day, and we will have accomplished enough by figuring out how to put it on this thing and by not burning the house down. Real stoked about not burning the house down as well as uh, the possibility of maybe getting this engine put in. So I'm looking at the front of this as I raise it and I do see a little bracket that's coming off. Uh, I'll just point it out. That right there, which I'm sure has got to connect to the front of the car somehow. So that's going to be kind of my go-to thing as I lower this in, is seeing where that is and if that kind of uh, presents a bolt at some point. I'm just going to have to watch it very carefully as I lower it and, and check a bunch. Let me check, is that high enough to get? Nope, no it is not. Also, let me just look real quick and see if there's an obvious place where that does connect, where that should connect. I don't really see an obvious kind of connection spot for that, but it's got to be just like right under the radiator, I would think, is where that connects. So when I put this in, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to get it real close to the front so that that can hopefully line up where it's supposed to be. Same for that on the side, the little black piece with that the red wire leads to. You can see that has screws that's got to, I, I'm pretty sure, that's got to screw in right to the side of the frame. And I can look and I don't see, don't necessarily see a spot where it has anything that obviously, where obviously it's supposed to go. So we'll just have to watch that. Um, but with that, that already has screws. So not real sure. Might uh, in a second I'm gonna look around this thing and see if there's any other obvious places, like the one on this side where this connects to things, where or where it should connect to things. All right. Um, no, that's still not high enough. God, I kind of hate this hoist. 
maybe that maybe that part does pop up through the thing like on I mean I've seen that on sports cars but I don't know this this car does not strike me as a sports car I think it's a it's a sedan right it's got or it's a coupe it's a coupe isn't it well hell maybe it is a sports car maybe I'm totally wrong I mean, but I can look at the hood. The hood is right there. And you can see that it doesn't have, like, a cutout for that thing to come through. So I feel like I've got to lower it pretty pretty far in there. Alright, let me get behind this and just grab it. Alright, looks like I'm clearing it pretty well. And right there... Let me have a look. No, that's that's not quite far enough in. Go just a little bit further. Right there. Yep, you know we're we're gonna go with it. We're going with it. We're gonna lower it. I can't believe my thirst and hunger are already as high as they are again. Oh, I didn't do what I said I was going to do and look around to see other parts where it might attach. Let's do that real quick. Mm. I feel like that's definitely what the half shaft connects to. That looks like the same same shape that you see there on the end of that. So at least there's there's that. Maybe we figured that mystery out. But I don't really see any other spot where there's an obvious thing that um, that supports the engine unless it's well no that's its own thing right there oh yeah and there's the, where the other half shaft connects all right well that that mystery is solved so I do think probably I have to have the engine in before I put the half shafts in because that looks like where it would connect to it anyway back to lowering I think this is pro what this is probably gonna do is bump and intersect with the uh, with the radiator as I lower it and it's gonna force the car forward a little bit but hopefully that will be okay or maybe it's not maybe it'll just go right by it look at that all right feel pretty good about that of course I've said that about a lot of things while playing this game and, and so far I shouldn't have felt good about any of it because <laughs> nothing is working all right lowering it down this is going real smoothly um, I'm kind of using that part where the red wire goes as a guide because that's not low enough to connect to anything right now so I don't feel like I even need to check if I can connect things because that's clearly not low enough it's getting there quick though I'm just going to get that just past the edge here and then I'm going to start checking that bracket that's on this side facing me. So right about there. Let's go one lower. There. And I'm going to start checking ever so often. Can I even see it? Yeah, right there I can see it. Uh, but so far... I don't see any kind of screw coming out of it. So let's lower a little more. Come on. If you just snap into place, I'd be so happy. Let's check on this again. No, still nothing to tighten. Not that I see anyway. but I do feel like that's lined up pretty good. You can see that piece right there that looks like it's gonna line up with that, and uh, then maybe that'll, maybe those will connect. Just a little bit more. Let me check on this again. No, I don't see anything there. <gasps> Ooh, but I do see something there that little that thing was not there before oh but my thirst is all the way up okay stay there car dang 
stupid biological needs. We have to run back to the stupid shore soon, too, to get those sausages. Why didn't I bring those with me? Oh, Justin, you idiot. Oh, I should have brought the sausages with me. That would have made a lot of sense, right? Grab a few more of these. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go get those sa stupid sausages. I don't want to. I want to just screw this thing in. Maybe no. You know what? No, no. I'm gonna try to screw it in, and then, then I'll go get the sausages. All right. So I think I'm gonna have to get under the car uh, to really get at that, which is fine because we're right here. We can do that. I just need to get my ratchets, and down we go. Oh, if this works. Oh, please let this work. Alright, no, I don't want to risk it intersecting and bumping stuff around. Alright, so where was that? Ah, right there. And you can see that bolt. It's not making contact, but I swear I didn't even see that bolt before. So... That looks pretty large. I'm actually going to go with like my largest one and work my way down. So I think that's going to be a, a very large bolt since it is, you know, supporting the engine. Oh, I didn't like that sound one bit. And he's a little tipsy from drinking the beer, so this is more difficult than it usually is. Well, seriously? I mean, one of these has to work, right? There we go. Yes! Oh, sweet Christ, yes! Oh my god. Oh, that worked. Okay. Uh, what about that other thing? Do I need to screw that in, too? I don't see... No, I don't see a screw there. I do not see a screw there. Let's just look around, let's just make sure. I don't see anything right there. Uh, obviously I need to I need to screw those in, or tighten those. But that looks like I the thing. Oh my god, the engine's in. Guys, the engine is in! Oh wow. Oh I might have just jizzed in my pants. So excited. All right, do I have to disconnect the hoist, or is it will it al already be disconnected because it snapped into, into place? Let's, um, let's just try to move this and see what happens. Okay, so it, it automatically disconnected, which is great. And you just saw that settle into the shocks. Oh my god. Guys, guys, the engine's in. The engine is in the car. The engine's in the car. Oh wow. Alright, I'm gonna get this is gonna be this is gonna be our screenshot for this episode right here. Just positioning myself to take this. And then we are done. Because holy crap, the engine's in the car. Thank you all for watching so much. Um I hope you're enjoying it. Uh next time we're gonna tighten more stuff down. We're going to hook up radiator hoses. I feel like we have almost got this, and that is just the most exciting words to say. I'm going to go save, and I will see you back in the next episode.